carry the memory of my mother, terrified on the wrong way flight to give her kids a better life. Deeper yet, my grandmother, the matriarch, who pounded cassava and Ghana's evening light. A drum beat that summoned kids and adults alike. In her left ear, skittered the voice of a Nancy, who wore tails like the most beautiful kente cloths, hand-me-downs, worn on lips and threaded through time. In her right ear, the poems of Nyame and the Sasi are rulers of creation who sent down the golden stool, cementing a shanty rule, adorned the land with gold and jewels and power passed through generations. But I said that I stand in my legacy. And whilst my ancestors hold me up, it's my own two legs that carry me because the way I leap black ink onto paper, I might be a black king getting paper. The crown that sits in my skull shall be encrusted with both my achievements and with my failures. And when I lay my hands to rest against my chest, they will lie calloused and scarred with the toils of my labor. Although I will depart to meet my maker, I will leave my heart behind. I will shine my light on any friend of mine going through their darkest times. And I will always be the hype man to gas up anyone's hardest rhymes. I will pour so much love into this world so I can collect every laugh, every smile, every single drop of pleasure, wear them on my form as if they were afterlife treasures. So when I stand before Anubis and he measures my integrity, I shall declare, behold, here I stand in my legacy.